I ask you if the fucking power is off, motherfucker. I'm back with another drunk reaction, and today I'm drinking Fireball, as I offered them. Now I'm going to get into another old movie, this one from the 70s. You know, the previous hour you saw the part one of uh, Galaxy of Terror. And you want to talk about terror? I'm terrified. This is going to be just as fucking bad. I cannot believe, like, I was so excited to watch Galaxy of Terror. I was like, oh my god, this is such a good movie. It was shit. It was complete and other shit. <laughs> it was just, I could not believe how fucking bad it is. At least this one. This one got a lot of acclaim. The, the Towering Inferno. You know, there were so many fucking disaster movies in the 70s. I don't know what the hell was going on with people in the 70s. There was, like, all the airplane disaster movies. There was the natural disaster movies. People were fucking obsessed with that shit. I guess because filmmaking had reached a point where they could accurately depict this kind of shit. And so, I don't know. People were fucking obsessed. Like, you know, it, you still see it every now and then. You'll have shit like Dante's Peak or whatever, or, you know, uh, 2012. There'll be shit. And, you know, they had the Meteor movies, uh, Armageddon, and, and whatever that fucking other one was called. But... I don't know. Like it was, it was bad in the seventies. It was really bad, and this was one of the better movies. Uh, they even had like the fucking ship that was upside down in Poseidon Adventure. It's like, oh my god. Let's go ahead and get into this shit. It can't possibly be as bad as uh, Tower or Galaxy of Terror was. So let's get into it. Ooh, Fred Astaire. Yeah, there, this movie is a uh, who's who of like seventies actors. That's for sure. O.J. Simpson. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> a double murder is not funny. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh my God, I'm an asshole. <laughs> this has been almost four minutes of opening credits. Hell, actually over four minutes because the video I recorded started at 42 seconds, right? Over four minutes credits. That's a bold strategy to start a movie. I mean, he looks like he's in a very good mood. Anything I can do to change your mind? Nope, no way. You know, there's an old saying that... Uh, Can't teach an old dog new tricks? No matter how hot it gets. The sun there, doesn't shine on a sleeping dog's ass? Not a damn thing. That one never quite made sense to me. On a surface, you think it makes sense, but it really, really doesn't. Damn, what an arrogant prick. <laughs> you come in the office for this a minute? feels very 70s, man. Now, you know what that means. Skyscrapers like this all over the country. You design them. I'll yeah, that didn't quite pan out, did it? You might think you suffer from an edifice complex. Edifice. You will never leave. Edifice complex. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Come downstairs and watch me burn up. Yeah, the screenwriter, um, Sterling something. I can't remember his last name. His last name also starts with an S. He has like a comic book name in that regard. Um, he also did the movie The End of the Heat of the Night. So he was a very good, I'm sure he'll well compensate the screenwriter. We were designed it sometime in this Hey, Doug, it's good to see you back, but how about the Chicago Specs? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, a minute, guy. Jesus, man, take a number. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not taking any calls. Man, her office is awesome. So is his. Holy shit. But her office for his fucking secretary, she had a very nice office, man. No wonder he was such a goddamn hurry to get up here. Dude, like you've got 12 people out there that need your help with shit. Fucking asshole, man. People always think with their dicks. <laughs> No wonder this bitch burned down. Distracted ass architects. Got change for a 50? The fuck I look like, pal. Oh, not a chance. Better have a credit card, motherfucker. Do we even take those back here? That's it, exactly. Catch your tip next time. Jesus. 95 cents. Boy, I hate the future. <laughs> 95 cents ago, the fucking New York cab prices, man. Jesus Christ. Which just shows how much of a dick he was to offer a 50, right? Yeah. Man, that, that fucking uh, 
building in Dubai, like the tallest building in the world, that would blow their motherfucking minds if they're impressed with this shit, boy. I mean, this one, you could be on the ground and see Tom Cruise swinging from window to window. You couldn't do that in Dubai, you know? Oh, Mrs. Albright. Hi, Phyllis. We won't be so messy tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to try to just kids' ones. headphones, bro. <laughs> yeah. That was some high-tech shit back then, Tony boy. Tony says thanks, but she doesn't go to parties since Daddy died. Well, thanks for bringing us down. Oh, boy, I wish we were good at our jobs. Oh, I wouldn't like that at all. One of the things with uh, all these disaster movies, they were like, uh, they had a bunch of stars in them in, in cameo roles. Very large casts, right? It was just a thing they did back then. Imagine like the Expendables, but disaster movies. So did they have any safety regulations back then? Like any? Like I don't know, man. Like what was what was going on in the seventies? The case there is. Plus West just called. He said they had wiring problems down there. You better stay with me. So you're gonna ignore the black man and get the whole building burned down. I see how it is. Hey, so um why are we sitting here fully clothed? Like didn't we just literally just finish bumping nasties? Like why'd you put your clothes back on? Like what are you trying to say here? Yeah, I guess we got ourselves a situation. Thanks. You know, I want the kind of life you're talking about. I want that. And I, want I just don't want to have to do anything to get that life. I want everything, you to do all the work and me to do none of the work to get that life. Ideas, Doug. I can do something with it, something that hasn't been done before. I guess I want to, and I can't have both. Not back in the 70s, you couldn't. Working woman or family, you got to pick one. Yeah. yeah, I'm just ignoring all my job and responsibilities. Right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I was going to hit it again. Thanks for calling. It's holding this off till tonight. Hmm? Saved by the bell. Power off? Yeah. <laughs> I ask you if the fucking power is off, motherfucker. What about that? It should have been conduit. Give me a pair of dice. I don't know how lesbians are going to help, sir. Oh, so you actually want to do your job now. Okay. Wait till you see this. <laughs> what happened? Somebody hang the wallpaper upside down? Jesus, you guys sure know how to shit on my cornflakes. I was really proud of this, whatever the fuck it is. That's all right, I'm just guessing, but I want to talk to that son-in-law of yours. I want to talk to him right away. Oh, nepotism, huh? That's what okay. we're going to be blaming this shit on. Oh, let me check it out. I'm missing something. You know what they say about him and Natalie? What is true? We've got two murderers in this fight. movie. 